Now for step three, let's connect our pelvic floor to our breath. So when we do this, we wanna think about our pelvic floor, diaphragm, abdominals, and back acting together as a unit, like a piston. On the inhale, we already talked about how the diaphragm descends down, right? So in this scenario, now everything will descend down on the inhale and ascend up on the exhale. Here's what it'll feel like. So as we're sitting here thinking about our pelvic floor on the inhale, we want to think about that pelvic floor relaxing. So your sits bones, a way to think about this is if your sits bones were widening or spreading apart, they're not actually going to move. We're just sitting here, but that thought can help us to get into that relaxation. Another way to think about it is if your vagina was like a flower and on the inhale, that flower was blossoming. All right. So place your hand on your belly and your rib cage. Find that posture if you've lost it. And now let's inhale together, relaxing through our pelvic floor. Ready? Good. If this feels totally new to you, if you've never done this before and you're not quite feeling it where I'm telling you, that's okay. Give yourself some grace to practice this. And as you do, you should be able to feel this a little bit more. Now, as we move on, let's think about the exhale. So the exhale is where we're going to have that piston moving up. It's where we have a light contraction through our pelvic floor. This is not a squeeze as hard as you can, 10 out of 10 contraction. This is like a 20 to 30% light contraction. And with this, I want you to focus on three different areas. You can practice these one by one and eventually combine all of them. So let's first focus on the front of the pelvic floor. When you are exhaling during this breath and you're thinking about the front of the pelvic floor, this is where you could think about like if you had no bathroom around you and you really had to pee, okay? So you're trying to hold in pee with this feeling, okay? And you can practice it right now, right? Feel that little bit of a contraction, trying to hold in pee. Now let's focus on the back of the pelvic floor. This is kind of a funny analogy, but let's say that you were in an elevator with a lot of other people and you really had to fart. <laughs> in this scenario, you're going to hold in that fart, right? So with what we wanna feel in that exhale is a light contraction of the back part of our pelvic floor. And now let's get into the middle of the pelvic floor. Again, another funny analogy here, but bear with me. I like to think about sucking up a thick milkshake through a straw if that straw was your vagina. So we want to have that light contraction through the front, holding in pee, light contraction through the back, holding in a fart, and light contraction through the middle, sucking up that thick milkshake. Okay, let's practice these one by one because again, this is a lot of information and it can help to feel everything and then tie it all together. All right. So get into that position, that posture. We'll inhale and feel that expansion, that relaxation. And then when we exhale, think about holding in that pee. All right, here we go. Inhale. And now exhale. Beautiful. Do you feel that? A little bit maybe? Okay. Now let's focus on holding in the fart. Okay. Inhale. And exhale. Yes. Now let's go to the middle, sucking up that milkshake. Here we go. Inhale. Good. Now I want you to combine all of them. Again, this takes practice, so just do your breath or do your best during this presentation. Here we go. Inhale, expanding through our rib cage into our hands. And exhale. Good. And that is the connection breath. Give yourself some time to practice this, commit to practicing it. And if you're still really struggling to feel it as the way I've described, then it might be worth visiting a pelvic floor physical therapist to get a little bit more individualized, directed support for you.